Helio, hope you're doing well. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I truly greatly appreciate it. Please remember this is a general reading, only take what resonates. If this message isn't for you, please leave it in love for those that need to hear it. Also check out your other placements for full picture guidance. If you do resonate with this video, please like, subscribe, comment. I do respond to all my comments within a couple of days. It's been a little crazy. And I apologize in advance if I cough and sniffle as I'm getting over a head cold. So thanks in advance. All right, so I'm gonna pull two cards in love, two cards for career, one for obstacle, one for advice, one for the divine message. And I'll be pulling a sacred travel oracle card at the end and read that to you, okay? Spirit, give me guidance for Leo, please. What do they need to know for their highest good, for love, career? <clears throat> Obstacle, advice, and the divine message you have for them, Spirit, please. And thank you. All right. Leo, let's see what we got going on for you for the week ahead. Again, this is going to be a quick reading. So, okay, so we have the Five of Swords and we have the Two of Cups. All right, this is going to be for career. This is going to be for your obstacle. Your advice, your divine message, and we'll pull the oracle card here. Let's see. Spirit, give me guidance. What does Leah need to know for their highest good spirit for the week ahead? Guidance to the need spirit, please and thank you. All right, let me fix this camera. Give me one second. With the Five of Swords here, Leo, I feel like there's some sort of procrastination on your end, okay? Um, I, I do feel your self esteem is, is defeated, okay? Yet you continue want to win at all costs. Now flip the roles if this is a, for your partner, regardless of the situation, whether you're married, you're together off and on, whatever that means for you, okay? But it's like there's, there's a sense here of winning at all costs. However, there's a huge issue that is causing anxiety and challenges, okay? It's like the situation is just too stressful and I feel like it's, it repeats itself, and it's truly a time to take the initiative to manifest your dreams, but understanding every situation cannot be a win, but a lesson, all right? And it's like there's an avoidance here, and it, it, it's truly time to commit to yourself. And with the Two of Cups, although that, that typically does mean soulmate, I feel like there's definitely a you know, for some of you, this is a platonic relationship, which is based on, you know, mutual interests, mutual goals. You know, some of you just don't want to be alone or you're used to, um, you know, maybe you don't want to start over. That's uncomfortable for you. Okay. But I'm getting the sense that, you know, if, if this is a true loving relationship, then there has to be honest communication and it has to be positive. It, I'm getting the sense like instead of dealing with something in a positive and harmonious way, it's more like a tit for tat or somebody's got to one up the other one. And I feel like this is telling you like you really need to get with your higher self and have the self-love for yourself because a lot of you don't. And it's like spirit's trying to give you a nudge along with your higher self to say, is this how you look at true love? Because this is not true love. That is truly what I'm getting from, from these cards. Um, I just feel like it's been, it's exhausting. You know, there's water in the background 
of this card, the element of water, and these two people are looking at it, and this guy's looking back, but it's like, it speaks of emotions. This has been very emotional. And two of cups is a water element, right? And it, that's emotions. And it's like, you want to reach this point, and look, Leo, like, you know, there's a lion in this picture, and it's like, I feel like it's you between your 3D self and your higher self of, of realizing what love is, but at the, for some of you, you need to love yourself first. And I feel like a lot of that's missing and you're, you're allowing someone to define who you are and what you are and, and spirits saying, no, like you need to find that love within yourself. But I do feel for a lot of you, it's kind of something that's been repeating over and over and you still haven't learned that lessons, but lesson, because it's like, there's a reason to like, you know, when there's a there's like oh no this is gonna work you can't force something to work one when you don't have two people giving it you know giving all that they can to put forward to something plus i feel there's an issue with honesty and communication here and that's huge in a relationship you have to be able to trust and and have open communication and not have communication that just tears you down or tears the other person down. Okay, so let's see in career. We have the Hermit and we have the High Priestess. So let, let me say this, okay? And this came up in Cancer's reading. For some of you, I feel like this is a story as sometimes that happens, right? This can both relate to both work and love. Maybe you're dealing with similar situations in both your love life and your business life, career, okay? Maybe this all speaks of your career that it resonates with you or, or, or love. Again, take this as it resonates, but if it's for love, let me just say this. With the Hermit, it's time for you to back up, cut out all the noise, the chatter, the, the thing the distractions and truly think about what how do you feel okay because i feel like some of you are numbing your emotions you know when you walk in snow and it is freezing because the hermit is like in the mountains you know trying to get answers and seek answers walking in snow right it it, it, it when it's that cold, it's like your body gets numb, your feet get numb, your hands get numb, right? And I feel like some of you are numbing your emotions and not dealing with those. And you're just, you know, sitting back, not making any attempt here um, to face those. You keep pushing them down, okay? And with the High Priestess, it speaks of, of you truly knowing intuitively what needs to be done, what actions need to be taken, and, you know, listening to your intuition so you can make a wise decision and protect yourself from things, you know, like hurt and pain. Um, and, and again, like these are two heavy cards here where you need to spend time by yourself. So you need to cut out and truly, you know, perhaps maybe meditate and get your mind quiet and really think, is this meant for me? Okay. And be honest with yourself because if you're not, the tower will come in and shake things up if you if, if, if you can't deal with the things and the lessons you're supposed to learn. And when the tower comes in, it's normally, it's a big, it's a bigger impact because the universe is stepping in versus if you would have done this on your own. Okay, so just take that as it resonates. So from a work perspective with the Hermit, maybe you need to seek some advice from people or someone to get answers. I do get a sense like you're trying to seek answers in a direction you're trying to go into, whatever that means for you, whether you're you know, wanting to change jobs or look at doing something different, whatever that means to you. And really going within and trying to figure out, okay, what is it? But Spirit wants you to know all the answers are within you. You have all the answers. 
It's about, again, backing up, not allowing people to get into your head because maybe some people are sitting here telling you, why would you do that? Like, especially if you've done something for so many years and then you want to do something completely different, right? You know, Spirit's saying you need to go with what you feel is right and what intuitively you feel like you're being guided to do. I do feel like there is a big imbalance here and it's like avoiding you, there's a huge procrastination and avoidance here, okay? And it's like, I'm telling you, it, it's something you need to address. It's time to center yourself. So you need to look at things for what they truly are to create the stability. And you do have the wisdom. Again, it's within you. It's all about finding it, looking at it, and honestly seeing it as it is. Um, it's like some of you may be really cold from an emotional perspective, okay? Again, it's like a numbing pain or numbing something here, numbing a situation, but you need whatever's hidden because the high priestess, you know, can mean secrets and hidden. Whatever's hidden here needs to be addressed. There is a huge, huge emphasis here with that. Some of you with the high priestess, okay, you need to keep things to yourself. Some of you may be verbalizing too many things at work and it, it's going to cause an issue. Um, maybe some of you are... You know, maybe you should be working in groups and as a team and you feel like you're kind of doing all the work yourself, right? And it, it's creating an issue here. I'm just getting the sense that you need to go within here. Ask yourself if you're truly happy. Is this something you want to continue doing? And maybe some of you are keeping things so hidden and not verbalizing when you truly need to, to say, look, this is where I have an issue. Can, can, what can be done about this? Okay. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's going to cause issues. Let's see what's the obstacle. The Ten of Swords. You know, some of you keep doing the same thing and getting the same result, which is being, whether that's backstabbed, hurt, betrayed, okay? And some of you are really having an issue with putting things to an end that need to end. You're refusing, you know, it's like you just keep hurting yourself and you keep allowing the same things to happen because you're refusing to look at how you feel and your emotions. Okay, so yes, this person shows that there's 10 swords in his back. It doesn't matter, male or female, okay? But some of you, instead of turning around and looking at the swords before they come to you and dealing with them, you choose to just turn, a, turn away and avoid that's the avoidance I'm speaking of. And then the more you avoid, the more pain it causes because you're not dealing with your emotions, how you feel. Okay? It's like you feel like you have to prove something you don't. There has to be truth and clarity here with the swords. It's, try, it's time to be truthful to yourself of what is truly here and because you have the answers, you just need to look within. And I don't know why some of you are refusing that. I do get a sense for some of you, it's fear of the unknown, right? Fear of what's it going to be like to, you know, to have to start over in a whole new relationship. Or again, some of you do need to do a lot of self-love and, and healing on your own, Um but take that as it resonates. But there's a huge avoidance here, again, that you're avoiding. And I'm just getting a sense that there's going to be a big tower moment if this isn't addressed. What is your advice? The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is slow moving. 
It's about trying to figure things out. You can see with the Knight of Pentacles here, you know, it's like he's trying to figure out, okay, this, this field is brown. What, what can I do to get this field to be beautiful and grow and be luscious, okay? And it's like trying to figure out what the answers are. I am getting a strong sense like you really need to learn from the things going on around you, okay? You need to be able to manage the negative expectations. Like it's, you, you have to be practical in, in, in whatever situations are going on here because not everything you want is going to happen the way you expect it to and progress is going to be slow and you do need to have patience, okay? But the progress will be, will happen, will happen. I can't speak. So you need to remind yourself like you're not stuck, okay? It's because I do feel like you have, you keep repeating something here because you're not learning the lesson or lessons that are meant to, to, to be learned here. And some of you, this can cause some type of financial struggle if this doesn't get under, if this doesn't get, um, if you don't take control of this sooner than later, okay? Your divine message is the magician. It's a reminder that you, you have all the tools you need. You have the wands, the sword, the, the cup, okay, the sword. You have all the tools you need. You can manifest anything it is that you want. But you also have to be open to the fact that it might not look like what you want. And it can take time, but we all have free will. So depending on the actions and the things you do is going to determine how quickly this comes into play and how things start moving and rolling in your life, okay? Um, it's really time to believe in yourself and the abilities that you have, okay? Because some of you are just focusing on limiting beliefs, fear, failure, um, you know, kind of what I spoke of here with the Ten of Swords. So you really need to connect with spirit, God, angels, whatever it is you believe in. Okay. Ask for that assistance. And it's, you know, put your intentions out there of what it is you truly want. Because if you sit here and say, I want a stable relationship and you're in a situation that's not stable, it's kind of the energy's throwing out, you know, the energies are, are distorted. They, they don't match, okay? So take that as it resonates. Your sacred traveler card, Leo, is wise leader. You are a beacon for others. So let me read that. Again, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps my videos get out into YouTube and get the messages to more people who need to hear it. I'd greatly appreciate it. You are a leader. You carry a wisdom and radiance that inspires others, even if you're not always aware of the depth of wisdom within you. It's emerging by leaps and bounds. You know, we spoke of wisdom over here heavily, and I feel like a lot of you have lost that believing in yourself and realizing your capabilities based on certain situations you've been going through or other people who've told you something different. This is a st time to step into your power and take the role of leadership. You're ready. Grab the reins. Make decisions. It's okay for you. You're not 100% sure making decisions anyway. It's what a leader does. The Sacred Traveler wants you to know on the journey, it's easy to tell who leaders are. They have an inner grace and strength that glows from within. Others travel on the pathways that the leaders have created. The wise leader holds up the flame as a torch for others in the darkest night, but the leader also listens to the beat of their own drum. 
Grab the reins of life on your terms. Don't live to please and appease others to the detriment of your own needs. This is not what a leader does. Live without regrets. All right, Leo, have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power, and I'll see you soon. Bye.